Hello everyone, welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. We are going to do some testing to see which wood ant you should use. Should you use the mortar boys or the machine gun boys? Oh, wait, I just realized they're all girls. Machine gun girls or the mortar girls? On the left side we have the rapid fire ants. On the right side we have the mortar ants. I did 10 melee wood ants and 10 of each of the range. So here's the mortars. Here is the rapid fires. A total of 20 ants on each side. Let the battle commence. And they're, they're off. Looks like the rapid fires are having the initial advantage, but it is still too close to call. The mortar ants are losing most of their melee boys or girls. And the mortar side has just lost all their ants, all their melee ants. Who will win? The rapid fire has just lost their last melee, but it does not matter. The mortars have lost and the rapid fires have won this one. Put a point in the column. Now we're just going to do 10 of each. 10 mortars, 10 rapid fires. Let the match begin. Looks like the rapid fires might have the advantage. Oh, actually, it's anyone's game. It's too close to really call it. Oh my god. Rapid fire won, but by like a hair. Literally a hair. Jeez. All right, on this side, we have 50 melee wood ants and 50 rapid fire wood ants versus one huge whip spider. Who will win? Looks like the Whip Spider has destroyed pretty much all of the ranged ones. It's now up to the melees to come up on top. Uh, but they're getting kind of destroyed by the... I didn't even know this spider had, like, poison or bleed. Either way, it appears that the spider has won this one. Alright, now time for the mortar ants to go at it. Looks like the more ants are doing better than the rapid fires. That could just be luck, or it could mean that they're just better. Oof, a huge chunk has just been killed. But yeah, the, the mortars just destroyed that spider. So I'm going to go and say this one goes to the mortars. Note to self, don't accidentally press 50 huge whip spiders. All right, this time we are going to use level three mortars. Who will win against the Whip Spider? Oh, what? Not, no, these are rapid fires. I'm bad. These are rapid fires. I forgot what I placed. And wow, they really melted that Whip Spider. Let's see how many survive. 89 survivors. That's actually a lot. Holy jeez. Now the Mortar Ants get their turn. Who will win? We are going based purely off the number of survivors now, because I have no doubts they'll be able to kill it. Looks like they might not have as many survivors. Oof. I don't think as many survived as the rapid fires. Nope. Not nearly as... Actually, it's still pretty close, but the rapid fires did definitely take the win. And now we're just going to have level 3... So we're going to have 50 level 3 mortars and rapid fires going at it with 50 melee boys as well, or girls. I keep on forgetting that ants are all female. And here we go! Da -da -da -da. So mortars have splash damage, rapid fires have slow. We will see which one that helps. Oh, huh. Looks like the rapid fire actually really helps against the melees. Now it's all down to the range. Who will win? Oh, looks like the mortars won. This is really interesting. It seems that rapid fire ants against large groups of enemies do better than the mortars. However, when it's one large enemy, mortars do better. 
But then once you upgrade them to level 3, the opposite of tr is true. So that means rapid fire ants do better against one giant target, and mortars do better against smaller individual targets. Oh, that's so weird! I would have to say it depends on what you're up against. If you're if you're going late game and you know you're going to be encountering a bunch of giant targets, I would have to say go rapid fire. And if you're going against lots of individuals early in the game, go also go rapid fire. However, if you know late game there's going to be a large swarm, then go mortar. Or if you have one giant target coming up early in the game, go mortar. This test kind of confirms what I suspected all along. It depends on what your strategy is and what you have to face. One is not strictly better than the other. It just depends on what you need to do with them. Either way, I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see more Empires of the Undergrowth content in the future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribing to see my next one, because eventually I'll get around to the harvest. Also, if you did like this test, I would be willing to try and compare stun majors and taunt majors to see who is the better major. But yeah, till the next one, goodbye.